Hello, my name is Amy Ecker. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing look two with the Natasha Denona Lila palette. So I, you guys know I'm afraid of pinks. I'm afraid of pinks. I am afraid of pinks. So I did wait till the weekend to try this pink look because I was afraid it was going to be scary, bold, maybe both. But I, I, I've been attracted to this palette since they put it out and it took me forever to buy it because it does have, you know, a lot of pinks and purples and my eye just kept being drawn to it and I had to have it. And so now that I've done this pink look, I really don't feel like it's crazy. Like I am comfortable with the eye look that I created. And so that just tickles me because I'm, I'm always looking for a pink that I'm comfortable with. So anyways, with this, I started out with some lighter colors. I always ground something that I'm afraid of in some good neutrals. I figure if the neutrals are there, it's kind of my safety blanket, for lack of a better term. But I did go ahead and ground my eyes with the neutrals. And then that's when I went in with this bad boy right here. So I, I used this pink because I wanted to be on the bold side today and I wanted to see how it performed and I also use this color here. What I will say is I I used this palette the other day and I was impressed and now that I've used it again I'm even more impressed. The reason is a lot of palettes have put out colors like this that shimmer and pick up light and are stunning. Hands down you can go to any aisle in any makeup section and find a palette like this. However, to get the palette, to, the colors to actually perform like they look like in the palette on the eyes is a total other thing. So if you watched enough YouTube videos, you know people pick up a matte fix plus, they wet their brush, they do all kinds of craziness because when they pick up the color and actually apply it to the lid, it looks nothing like it. I will say uh, the Natasha Denona Lila palette, you're not going to find that as a problem. I'm actually going to create two more looks. Um, I had planned on only doing one look with this palette. Did my look the other day and was like, wow, I really like this palette. I'm going to go ahead and try two more looks. And now I'm up to, because I want to do a total of three. Now I think I want to do a total of four looks because I want to do something with the rose golds and I definitely want to do something with the purple. My look before was the taupe. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do a total of four looks and heck, there's probably another fifth look in there that I could pull off. I just really like this palette. I like it because it performs like it looks. Hello, what a concept. <laughs> So anyways, I was, it, I, it did take me a little while to purchase the palette because of the expense. I mean, I, in my mind I was thinking, well, you know, I could probably buy three other palettes to this one. How do I justify it? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you justify it through quality. You can buy three other palettes and then you can spend time messing with those colors to try to get them to look like they do in the pan. At least with this one, you get a good pan size, number one, but you also, it performs like it looks in the palette. And to be honest, if you're going to spend your money, why not spend your money on quality versus quantity and then have to try to make it work with other products? Um, to me, that just seems counterintuitive. So anyways, I'm going to keep playing with this palette. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the different looks that I'm creating with this as much as I am going outside of my comfort zone. I'm having a blast. So anyways, if you have any thoughts or questions, please put those below. If you have used this palette, tell me what you think about the palette or her foundation. The other thing I used in one of my videos that I absolutely loved of hers was the Blackest Black Star Liner. So I really need to go look and see what other colors she has in that. That's absolutely amazing. And you're going to hear that in another video of why I liked her eyeliner. And again, it was an absolute shock and I was totally not prepared for that. So anyways, if you'd like to see how I created this pink look using the Natasha Denona Lila palette, 
Please okay, today tuned. we're going in with a second look with Natasha Denona, and I'm I'm just still not sure what I want to do. There's just too many friggin' gorgeous colors that I'm like, I could do a rose gold look. Very easy. These pinks and purples to me are not easy because even though my eyes go towards them, I'm still afraid of those colors. Therefore, I kind of want to use those because I am afraid. So, <laughs> let's just, let's try to create something with the this pinky bit right here, okay? Let's do it. Let's do it. Because the only way you're gonna, like, get over your fears is by trying. And I think I've been trying a lot of pinks probably in the last few months because I, I am fearful. They're not my norm. They're not my jam. I don't feel like I look good in pinks, but I want to. <laughs> I want to look good in pink. So I figure at some point, if I keep doing pinks, there is going to be a magical pink, kind of like a unicorn that rises up from the smoke. And suddenly I'll be like, ah, I can wear pink. But with what I say, anytime you're using colors that are not your jam, go ahead and get a neutral and ground it. You know, get your neutral around you. It's like a security blanket. And then use the colors that scare you. It's just what I do. All right, I'm gonna go with this color up here and that is called, I'm gonna pull it on one half of the brush. It's an Ashley Gilmore bit. I'm gonna flip my brush over and that way it's in more of the upper crease. As you can see, these are crazy pigmented, so I'm going to have to take just a normal leather brush, kind of blend that in. Okay, so that kind of starts us having a, a semi-neutral lid and that's where we're gonna bounce start bouncing these other brighter colors off of because I, I now have my security blanket of something just a little less intense and no matter how big you get you still need a security blanket goodness I sound like I'm three okay so now I'm deciding between the pinks so this has a little bit more peach. This is a little more fuchsia, and this baby doll over here is a lot of purple. Y'all see why, I, why I'm confused? It's just so much prettiness. Like, how do you pick? I think we're gonna go with the fuchsia. Go big or go home. I'm gonna pull that right to the crease. What I find interesting about these shadows is that I don't know what formula she uses, but bam. You don't need Fix Plus. You don't need to spray your brush with water or whatever. Some of the other, I want to say cheaper, maybe less, I don't know. Her stuff is off the hook. I mean... God only knows what this stuff would look like if you did get it wet or use Fix Plus. So I, I do know this palette took me a while to purchase because of the expense. And I kept thinking, it's so gorgeous, I, I need to try it, but I'm so afraid of spending, you know, double or triple some of the other palettes. And can I really feel comfortable about that? But the fact that she has got more of a superior kind of foil, or I'm not even sure what you call these, is exciting. So for me, you know, now I understand why there's a price difference. The pan sizes are bigger, but again, you're also getting something you don't have to mess with. So now I'm gonna go into this gold color here. To me, when you have to start messing with, um, you pay a good price for foundations, 
not foundations, for eye colors, but then they don't perform like they look in the pan. So then you gotta start making stuff up. You gotta start adding water or Fix Plus or whatever just to get it to look like it's in the pan. That's irritating. These babies do exactly what it they say they're gonna do without any extra help. To me, that's how an eyeshadow should perform. I have no clue where I'm going with this look, but I'm having a damn good time. And it's the weekend. So if I end up with something extra crazy, eh, it's the weekend. My husband's used to me being crazy. Okay, so those are absolutely, you can pick up that those colors are just shiny and lovely. I do have my eye on another kind of eye pattern that I'll wear for work. So I may get maybe four-ish looks out of this um, package before, and again, that's something that's odd for me. I usually only do a look, maybe two max, and then I'm off to the next palette. This one has intrigued me, so I keep wanting to play with it. And to me, this is also a really pretty fall look with these colors. I think that's another bit why I'm in love with this palette at this time, is that <clears throat> it really just shows up some great fall colors. Now I will say, living in um, Dallas, I've found one tree. One tree with fall colors. That's not what I'm used to of living in the South, but hey, Dallas has the one tree. So I'm going to pick up that golden color, which is similar to what I used on the inside, and we're just going to kind of mirror as we went up top, below. I just got a, a pit, like a side thing of me with my hair kind of in a weird funky bun and I was like, oh my gosh, do I look like the Queen of Hearts? <laughs> I, hope, I hope my makeup comes out a lot better than the Queen of Hearts. But if not, I'm a little late to Halloween. Okay, I'm gonna use the Six Shadow, six shadow Sticks 24-7 eyeshadow. And I have no clue what color this is in. I was actually hoping I would have had a bright pink. I thought I had ordered one from Marc Jacobs. If I did, I can't find it. And I've got these things pretty much under control as far as where I put everything. Eyeliners. Hmm. What y'all think? And I thought I had bought a pink eyeliner. I've got an orange one. I've got a, well, I guess that's kind of pink. Let's try it. It's a weekend. We can do bolder looks on the weekend. So this is the NYX Vivid Brights, and this one is in Fire. So I have really fallen in love with these Vivid Brights. I really, really love them. I think they're brilliant. They're just a blast. For whatever reason, they don't travel where they're not supposed to for me, so that's another reason why I like them. It's how eyeliner should go on, nice and easy. So what a concept, right? So my eyes are starting to water, which is pushing off some of the edge of the eyeshadow down below. Kind of a recent update. You guys always hear me complaining about my allergies. Well, we're taking allergy to the next level. I went and got tested and it's like I am totally allergic to everything in Texas. Like off the hook allergic to everything in Texas. So I now get to give myself shots daily. However, you got to build up a resistance. So you start out with, you know, a lower amount of giving yourself a shot. Well, A, you got to, you got to graduate. So I graduated, um, I, I can do it myself. And anyways, it takes about a month of them before they start working. 
and I didn't take my normal Benadryl Zyrtec this morning in hopes that because I hadn't been outside yet it wouldn't have started it. I, I didn't have that luck. So I'm gonna have to go do some Benadryl and catch up and then fix my makeup most likely before we head out. But I'm real excited that at least they think they can help me with my extreme allergies because I'm so tired of feeling like I am a fountain. You know, it just, it just goes. And a person should not be a fountain. <laughs> a fountain anymore. I mean, it's like I'm crying all the time or just a freaking hot mess. And I'm, I'm, I'm basically over it, I'm basically over it. So let's hope this month goes by really fast and the shots work amazing. Although I think I freaked out a friend, she sat down next to my purse and she was like, why do you have Epi pins in your purse? I'm not gonna die. It's just in case of an allergic reaction. Okay, so we are gonna pick up the Demi Wispies, and these are for, from Salon Perfect. I really do like um, their eye eyelashes. And I put them on with Tarte, because Tarte seems to be the friendliest with my eyes, since my eyes have developed an allergic reaction to glue. And that's just not nice, because how do you do bold eyelashes, eye looks without eyelashes? Please. Luckily that went on really well and I didn't prep my eyes with mascara So, you know, I found that if you do prep your eyes with mascara first They tend to go on a little bit easier than if you don't So I never understood why some women, you know, would put on their mascara first and then put on their false eyelashes It just seemed counterintuitive to me And then one time I forgot to put on my mascara or I, I, for, I forgot that I was putting on falsies put on some mascara and then attach the false ones. I was like, hello, how much easier could that have been? So I do understand now why women in the fashion industry will go ahead and do their coats of eyelash glue, or I, excuse me, mascara first before applying the falsies. I am interested if someone else has another reason they think that happens. With such a bold eye look, uh, I, I did a semi-light cheek, and I'm gonna go in with a light lip because I want all of the drama being on the eyes, basically. So this is a Catrice lip liner. This one is called Hollywood Rose, and I think I'm gonna partner it with a Kylie a birthday suit nude, and then we may build up the nude with some little sparkle on top. And yeah, we're gonna have to put a little sparkle on top. So I'm kind of debating between the pink sparkle, the pinkish sparkle here. All right, I think I'm gonna go back to the lip topper from Beauty Creations. It's a metallic lip gloss, it's long lasting. So we're gonna kind of put that on top. You know the other thing I think I'm liking about these Natasha Denona eyeshadows is that they've got sheen but they're not sparkly that it's not like I'm putting just a crap ton of sparkle on my eyes but it still picks up the light and I think that's why I really really like these because they are different and they go on like they should what a concept oh mark you have not let me down Look at these eyelashes with the falsies. Oh my God, Mark. Okay, y'all, this is the Mark Jacobs one and it looks like this instead of like this, but I'm loving this. Wow. All right, so I do need to still fix my lips. I was too busy looking at my eyelashes going, Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. I love eyelashes. Okay, let's see if we can cover up some of this blue. Yes, that blue was just too much. However, this color is really pretty. It's almost like a really nice peachy color. And this one is called Sugar Cookie. Again, by Beauty Creations. I've been playing with them a little bit here and there. Um, I still need to do another look 
and I still have to release a film that I've done with them but anyways so this is kind of my final look with the pinks and you know what I have to admit I'm pleasantly surprised so I was not expecting for me to be able to put on these pinks like this and just feel pretty and y'all may be out there going you don't look pretty but I feel pretty and that's all that matters <laughs> so I'm gonna go try to do something with my hair to make it look probably a little prettier and then I will be right Thank back. Thank you so much for watching this eye look using the Natasha Denona Lala palette. I absolutely am falling more and more in love with Natasha Denona. So just as a, a quick bit, I am using her um, foundation today. I used it the other day when I did my other Natasha Denona eye look and it was awesome. So I had a gentleman that I work with say, what did you do different? It's like, with what? And he said, your your foundation, or not foundation, he said, your face just looks really great today. He said, your skin looks fantastic. So for a guy to notice that my skin looks fantastic or different, because we all know what my skin looks like without foundation, it's not fantastic. Actually made me kind of, I had an extra little oomph in my step so I have I, I've been keeping the Natasha Denona foundation off to the side for special occasions but baby if I'm waking up in the morning it's a special occasion from now on so anyways I got a kick out of that so I did put on the Natasha Denona foundation again today so do I look perfect <laughs> so if you do like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend and as always you have a choice so make it a great one until next time